Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today I'm bringing you episode number 3 of my Juventus career mode uh, on my channel. So um, starting off before we get into the gameplay, uh, leave a like on the video, comment down below, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, let's try and get, I don't know, I'll just ask for 10 likes every video, you know. It's a nice little small number for my small channel. So first game we jump into is against Juventus, uh, no, against Juventus, against Lazio, I, I read Juventus' name first, that's why. Uh, first seven minutes, Douglas Costa gets played through and completely bottles it, to be honest. Um, I tried to do a low finesse shot and he just he just put it wide, and that's all I could say. Again, he had another chance, what a save that was from the keeper, the, the one-handed save near post. Really nice save, he had a corner, Ronaldo flicks it on, I tried to score, like press circle, I didn't press X or square to flick it on, but I uh, just about missed. Um, put it wide. Um, we played the ball into Dybala. He plays it across to Morata, and he completely balloons it over the bar. I don't know what he was doing there. All I did was press circle. I didn't try any fancy uh, time finishing or anything like that. Um, good link up play here from Dybala, Costa, and uh, Morata. Whips it in back post. Ronaldo's there. He flicks it back across. Costa's there. He does get a bit lucky with the bounce off the defender, but um, Costa keeps us cool when he was um, able to. Uh, you know, slot the ball away with a nice little header, bouncing over the keeper there, who tried to come back across and dive for it, but that puts us up 1-0 uh, in this game against Lazio at home. Uh, they push on here with Luis Alberto, plays a nice through ball into Immobile, and it's a good save from Chelsea. I don't know if that was going in or it was going wide, but uh, the save had to be made. Uh, we've got a corner here now, whipped in. Uh, he tries to tries the bicey, but we get it away. But only two there, centre-back who plays it down the line. Good ball in, good block there from uh, Chiellini, I think that was. Still can't get the ball out here. We're literally trying for so long to try and get this ball out. Uh, Savage gets it. Give away a stupid free kick from a Tweedy there. I don't know what I was doing there. I was just trying to nick the ball off him. Uh, Luis Alberto, I think, is over the free kick right now. Goes to cross it, dinks it in, misses the first player. We try to clear it, can't clear it. Comes to Chesney. Nothing happens from there. Uh, from here on, this is literally a few minutes later. Costa gets in the ball, cuts inside, goes for the driven shot into the bottom corner, deflected for a corner again. Another corner for us. We get it front post. Ronaldo flicks it on, and he just can't get it into the back post, um, which is unlucky. Moving into the second half now, I think. Uh, Rabio picks the ball up from Dabala, plays a nice little uh, ball into Matuidi. Cut back to Costa, whips it across, but unfortunately Costa was offside. But uh, I kept that in because the build-up play was really nice. Uh, just shows like the type of passing and movement we've be, uh, we've been doing with uh, this career mode. Uh, Ronaldo cut inside. What a goal this was! Lovely little run down the wing, cut inside from Ronaldo. Uh, finesse shots are really, really OP on this FIFA so far, and uh, I, I just may as well take use of it because obviously Ronaldo's got great shooting and stuff like that. So. Checks back inside, loses Bassa, the defender, and uh, just whips it, whips it into the bottom corner, and it uh, bounces off the post and goes uh, across the back, back the other side of the net. So that puts us in a 2-0 uh, lead right now, very comfortable. We've got another chance here, I think, with Kadira, plays it into Mandzukic, she plays it back across to Dabala, to Kadira, back across to um, Murata, I think that was, but, oh no, Bernadache. We've got... Um, uh, a bit unlucky there, first time volley, it was, it was always drifting wide from the way he kicked it, but uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, ball gets headed into Mandzukic, he can't get it back to Ronaldo, but that was full time whistle anyway. A really, really comfortable 2 0 win there for me. They didn't really create many chances apart from the, maybe a couple in the first half. Look, they only had one shot on target, so um, and we had 19 shots, so realistically, we should have we should have done probably better than what we did, but here we got on transfer offer from. Tottenham for Matuidi for 27.7 million. I rejected it straight away. There's no chance I'm selling Matuidi. He's one of our best players. We we don't want to be selling Matuidi. Um, we now move into deadline day. <clears throat> Obviously, deadline day is um, a very popular thing on career mode. But for our Juventus side, apart from the free signs we made early on in the season, uh, or with the window, sorry, we, we didn't need to make any improvements. But... I thought I'd keep in the uh, transfer window just in case there was any bids or anything like that from other clubs for any of our players. But so far, obviously, five hours in, not really anything happening. Um, Casemiro has gone to Man City. Doar has gone to Newcastle. I, I was going to check the top deals, but um, I, I just forgot. But we get an offer here for... Regard well, we don't get an offer. We get a release clause, clause paid, which is £37.1 million for Regani. Now... 
what you need to do, if people don't know this, if a release clause gets paid, you just go to uh, your um, squads and then just offer a new contract, which allows them to obviously stay on, which is good. We gave him a new contract, so I wanted to stay because obviously he's going to be good for us if we carry on this series, like um, maybe a two, another season or two down down the line. Because obviously he's quite young, and we've obviously got three, pro probably three centre backs, which are at least 28 plus. Like they're getting old, so having him in the team would be really good. And um, that does bring us to the end of the transfer window. Um, obviously, uh, we didn't really make any business at the end of it, but 511 million pounds spent throughout the whole window, which is a very, was a very high amount. So um, that brings us into the next game, which we did play against Parma, and we won 3-1. Unfortunately, I recorded it. As I ended the recording to save the file, the file was saving, halfway through it corrupted, my PC shut down. So unfortunately I lost the footage, we won 3-1, it was a very good game as well which is annoying, but it is what it is, so we're going to have to move on into the next game against Sasasulo. I don't think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm going to go with it because uh, yeah, I don't really know, it, it looks like it though it is, so happy days. We kicked the game off uh, with the ball. Uh, shooting the other way and um yeah this game was um it, it was all right it was a bit bit frustrating at times like there the defending was really poor and they managed to get it into the striker and he's he's made a good he made Chef, made Chesney make a good save that's what I was trying to say flicks it across Chesney saves uh comfortably there uh, Matuidi plays a nice ball down to Dybali he makes a really nice touch there cuts back inside whips it in it was a really bad cross I don't know what he was trying there and uh, Matuidi just gets shut down by the keeper who catches it comfortably. Uh, the ball gets played out to Costa, plays back to Morata, across to Dybala. And that would have been a, such a nice goal if he was able to get that into the bottom corner just wide. Uh, 26th minute now, they're pressing on, plays it out to the winger. He uh, should have crossed that, in my opinion, to the striker. But it doesn't matter because Chiellini just absolutely body checked him to the floor after the winger nutmegged him. Uh, no card for Chiellini though, which, uh, which is alright. But yeah... Um, Number 27 steps up, looking like he's going to put it into the bottom right. No, oh yeah, he does actually. No, he puts it in the bottom left, sorry. <laughs> Chesney makes a really good save. Um, I could just tell because of the way his body was shaking towards the left, um, which is which is how I knew that he was going that corner. But um, we're moving on, 30 second minute. What a ball this is from Morata to Douglas Costa. Um, cuts inside a bit. I did an elephant touch into the inside, but plays it across to Ronaldo. Easy as you like. Um, I just I just thought it'd be easier to play it across to Ronaldo instead of trying to score with Costa. Ronaldo's in so much space, he had so much time to think it into the bottom corner. And um, we go 1-0 up in the 35th minute. Now, second half, this game didn't really have much highlights, if I'm being honest. Um, there wasn't really much happening for either team. But um, 67th minute, we play a nice ball out to Quadrado, he plays it to Morata. He tries to play it to Quadrado first time, misses it. Second time... Does get intercepted, but what a ball that is from Dybala to Ronaldo. I was trying to do a low driven shot and I bottled it. I literally bottled it. I should have kept sprinting with Ronaldo, but I uh, I didn't. And they play a nice ball in, but uh, Cancelo clears it. Dybala's got all the time in the world. Who's going to pick out Ronaldo? He cuts across into Quadrado. Quadrado is going to pretend to cut inside, comes back in again, does it again, and shoots, and he hits the post. I was so, ah, oh, I was like, that would have been a quality goal, because we've made some really good counter-attacking plays, uh, but we just can't finish most of them at the end. Same again here, we've got a nice play, nice counter-attack here, Morata into Quadrado, to be fair, this time, Quadrado drills it into the top corner, misses the post this time, it goes in the back of the net, we'll, we seal off uh, another victory in the Serie A. Uh, another 2-0 win, very comfortable. Like I said, there wasn't really much happening in this game uh, apart from the few chances that I've shown and the goals, obviously. But there you go, we do win another game, another three points. Let's move on to the next game, which was our first Champions League game against Valencia away from home. Obviously, <clears throat> in our away kit, we, we, I forgot. I didn't really look at the uh, games, upcoming games, because obviously most of my players just played a game and they're not fit. So I need to... Um, uh, changed the team around here. I swapped out Morata for Mandzukic. Quadrado came on for uh, Costa. Dybala for Chan. No, Chan for Dybala. Matuidi came off for Kadira. I think I ended up putting Bernadashe on instead of Quadrado, actually. Uh, yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Yep, did I? Yeah, there we go. So Bernadashe comes on for Quadrado. Uh, most of the team is 
is still alright, so I've kept most of them in there. But here we go, first Champions League game of the season. Obviously, the Champions League rights are in the game now, so all the graphics are really nice and everything looks really good. Um, so I was I, I was hoping because obviously we've had a re really good run so far in this career mode, so I was expecting us to win this game. If I'm being totally honest. <laughs> So um, yeah, I've got high hopes for this game. So we're going into the start. Literally, Chan intercepts it straight away, but it takes a heavy touch, and uh, unfortunately, the defender tackles him. But we do get the ball back there. But anyway, uh, Gamero plays a nice ball into the right back here. I think it's the right back or a right wing. I'm not sure. Uh, they get a corner from it from a failed cross. Good block. Uh, whips it in. I think that's Gamero leaps ahead. Oh no, Pollister, Gabriel. He's played for Arsenal. He jumps ahead of him, but he unfortunately. Well, fortunately, he puts it wide. Ronaldo gets tackled here when he's trying to make a counter-attack. Gamero does a lovely turn, and he completely sells Benacia. Uh, no, Benucci, sorry. And, um, yeah, pfft, what what can I say? He, he's just got a screamer. Chesney, he can't, there's too much power on it to save it. Uh, he's rinsed our defence there. Great goal. Can't really complain about that. 31st minute, uh, he scored. Uh, it's just about to come up to the half-time break. They've got a chance down the wing. Guedes cuts across cross plays it back and then great save from uh, Chesney and Gamero gets the rebound quickest player to react my centre backs just didn't react they just stood there like a, like a stack of lemons you know second half now Gamero plays a nice ball again into Rodrigo great shot hits the post and yeah he just taps it in for an empty net um, Alexandro I don't really know what he was doing he didn't react quick enough and then when he did get near the ball he just kind of flopped on the floor so that's 3-0 in the first 60 minutes so not what I was expecting. Quadrado straight from the kickoff though. Great chance. And I thought that went in top corner, you know. But unfortunately, went wide. And we're pushing on again. Quadrado. Um, I probably should have started Quadrado in a, like a centre attacker mid roll Because as soon as he came on, he was doing wonders for us. Really good chance from Mandzukic there. Keeper puts it outside. the uh, outside, Just outside the post with a great save. Chesney there makes a good save in the 72nd minute. They get a corner from it. Uh, I don't know who's taking that, I think it's Guedes, whips it in, nothing happens there, Chan gets rid of it, uh, Quadrado again picks up the ball, lays it off to Morata, plays a great ball back to him, Quadrado's running through on net, what's we going to do, I tried to sweat it across the Costa and he's drilled it wide, should be putting that in the bottom corner in that position, but moving on again, Chan gets in the great position, like Quadrado before, puts it wide at that post, I just don't get it, I'm still getting used to like, all the shooting and stuff like that and attacking plays, but Quadrado again whips it in, Morata tries to get ahead of the defender, he doesn't, we then get a corner again, whip it across, uh, nothing comes of it, we're near enough, like done. this game's done, uh, yeah, this game's done, Cancelo can't, doesn't have enough time to get the ball back in the net, or back up the field, so we take our first loss of the series, uh, in terms of like the league and like uh, uh, season, I guess, instead of pre-season, but yeah, we... Um, take a loss and now we're playing against Florinense away from home on sim because I want to like try and play three games and then sim one every episode now from now on because obviously I've introed it and got most of uh, the stuff out you know like just starting things up so I think from there that's what I'm going to try and do uh, Ronaldo scores in the 46th minute uh, obviously not really much happened in this game one yellow card and one go goal so far uh, I would expect us to win from this game, so that's why I sim this one. I'm going to sim like the easy games, but there you go, guys. One they'll win, and that is going to be the end of the episode. If you did enjoy, please leave a like on the video. I really am enjoying this uh, FIFA 19 career mode. Comment your thoughts down below. Anything you want me to improve, players to sign, January, all the good. That's all that good stuff. Also subscribe if you are new around here. Post notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.